really important out here to always keep our mind on where we are, what the trail's doing, and what it looks like around us. Basically our surroundings at all times. This is a spot where we should definitely exercise extra caution. See how the little trees box in the whole trail? It's like going through a tunnel of trees. That's an excellent place for a predator to set up an ambush because it knows exactly where you're going and you have to go in this very narrow area in order to get across. So it's easy to set up an ambush there. I always just keep my observation, you know. area upwind from you so like the wind is blowing this way right now it's landing on this side of my face and it's blowing off of this side so my scent is going that way my scent isn't going that way so a predator isn't going to sit on this side of the trail where its scent is being blown into the trail it's going to sit on this side where it can't be smelled from upwind so the danger areas here to look for are on our left, being that the wind is blowing on our right. I say we and ours and stuff because, well, when I'm recording like this, it really feels like it's us and not just me. That's why I'm not like, I do this, I do that. I'm like, we need to go get water and get ready for the nighttime. Okay, we're coming. I thought I heard something over there. We're coming back down, just about meet up with the our main road where we uh we veed off and went uphill. Across the creek, back to the cabin. I'll get my battery charged and then uh we'll go get water. That'll be fun. And then wood. And if we have time, we'll go up and check out that old corral that I was telling you about earlier. That was a good hike. It's started to sprinkle. One thing I was not worried about, concerned about, is uh, if it just starts pouring down rain. Uh, and if it rains tomorrow too, 
My cell phone is out now. Everybody knows I'll be back Tuesday. If I'm out longer than Tuesday, there will be people come and look for me. So I, uh, I'll still have to hoof it. Good Lord willing, it'll all work out. Okay, so I didn't get to charge my battery very much. So I only have 27%. We could get water or we could go look at the, uh, at the corrals and then I can get water when I get back while I charge my battery. Maybe try and take y'all with me th with the uh, trail cam, you know? Okay, I think let's do that because I really wanted to see them and everything. And I think we have time for that. Let's see. I need to make sure I blow out the candle and the cabin, close the door to hold it in the heat. What else do we need? Anything? I'd like a drink of water. All right, let's kick it. I'm excited. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. All right. So first we're headed up here, same way that we came in yesterday. for sure out here everything is straight uphill I don't know if you can see with the camera the grade that we're actually climbing right now it's steep keep hearing a truck back up over the another bluff at first I heard them rev it kind of sound like the sound that a truck would make if you're revving the gas trying to get out of a rut or something and then slipping like there might be stuck then I heard truck doors now any noise out here travels for miles they're on the main road because there's no way to get here unless you hike in. So I've told all of my friends that know that I'm here that I'm going to be back Tuesday. And that if they didn't hear from me, don't worry because my I can't charge my cell phone. So there shouldn't be anyone out here looking for me. Uh, see, I'm reminded of the first time I got back here. Uh, when my friend, the old cowboy, heard the shape that I was in and my circumstances... He came all the way up these logging roads, honking his horn, uh, trying to get a hold of me so that he could give me food uh, and make sure that I was okay. And so that's the only thing I'm thinking about right now is, you know, but I've told him, I told uh, my friend at the store, I told uh, my friends that I work for, uh, those are my people. And they all know I'm coming back Tuesday. If on the trip here, I keep hearing what sounds like somebody stuck up there, I might go ahead and grab my shovel and walk up there and see if there's somebody that needs help. Because even if I don't know them, if there's somebody stuck up over there, I'm obligated to help them. I'm gonna keep pushing on and I'll just keep my ear out. If it sounds like they're still there, then I'll go check. I don't know why. It might be because I come from a very dense forest originally. It's these grassy open areas that kind of give me the EBD-GBDs. You know what I mean? 
it was really neat when I first got here. There are deer all over the top of this place. There were like 30 or so in this big pack, or what you call it, herd. And I uh, followed them around. It was what I did for entertainment. I just followed them and watched them. It was really cool. starting to pick up. Check it out. This has such a cool feeling to it. It's like total time travel. This is the old horse corral. See, the cowboys back in the 1800s, they'd range their cows out here and lots of times they lived in this area. Uh, and these were, they had two corrals as far as I understand. One of them's down by the cabin and the other one's here. So they used it for like when they were passing through gathering cattle and stuff. It's interesting to to look around and I uh, during the summers the cowboys still bring the cows up here and they let them loose and they free range up here right and so the cows they live out here and so they naturally gather in places I'm looking around at all the uh, the cow mess the cow droppings from uh, this summer Isn't it interesting that a structure originally designed to, to keep animals in and keep them safe, this was made for horses, but still herd animals, right, has still a natural construction to it that would make a herd animal feel safe to come in here. It's really neat, in my opinion. I've got one more thing I want to check out, and then we're going to head home. I don't have much battery left. I hope that you all have enjoyed this. I've had a lot of fun. starting to pick up. Check it out. This has such a cool feeling to it. It's like total time travel. This is the old horse corral. See, the cowboys back in the 1800s, they'd range their cows out here and lots of times they lived in this area. Uh, and these were, they had two corrals as far as I understand. One of them's down by the cabin and the other one's here. So they used it for like when they were passing through gathering cattle and stuff. It's interesting to to look around and I uh, during the summers the cowboys still bring the cows up here and they let them loose and they free range up here right and so the cows they live out here and so they naturally gather in places I'm looking around at all the uh, the cow mess the cow droppings from uh, this summer Isn't it interesting that a structure originally designed to, to keep animals in and keep them safe, this was made for horses, but still herd animals, right, has still a natural 
construction to it that would make a herd animal safe to come in here. It's really neat, in my opinion. I've got one more thing I want to check out, and then we're going to head home. I don't have much battery left. I hope that you all have enjoyed this. I've had a lot of fun.